Beat down 2022. It's the night before the beat. We're gonna do a cookout tonight. Fry up some fish, cheese curds, French fries, whatever else we can throw in the fryer. And tomorrow we're gonna start hunting. We're gonna try to shoot some turkeys here over the next couple days. Mark's birthday today, so we're drinking some beers, celebrating Mark. Tomorrow we're gonna kill turkeys. Get in on that. Your birthday. That is sick. Like it. Look at this. Jimbo, you know me and my hats, boy. I don't know what to think. This one's getting benched for the rest of the weekend. What do you think? Uh, excited to get some fish cooking and uh, see how the beat down goes. It's going to be a lot of fun. going to be a lot of good times and uh, a lot of good memories made, for sure. We're full, but we're going to go do a loop here before dark. Mike's going to go one way and we're going the other way. See what we can see for birds tonight. Come up with a game plan for tomorrow. and. Shit's gonna hit the fan. Two taller trees out there. To the right of, oh yeah, he's strutting out. Nice little boo boo. Beautiful day for the beatdown. Ready to rock and roll. Trying to get rowdy. Yeah, Strutter bomb. You'll be able to drive right where the road stops there and just walk around that corner. You want a beat? Go get them. All right, we're going to sporting set up. Circled around with a strutter out in the field, and we're gonna try doming them. I think we can sneak right around again in the field with him. Hopefully, he wants to play. Keep going. Nice. Oh yeah, first contestant of the beat. Might have got us this morning, but we got the last laugh. Well, here we are on the first morning of the 2022 beatdown. We had some issues off the roost this morning, but got back to the truck, collected ourselves, went for a loop, came back into this spot where we set up off the morning, and we came at him at a different look, and he was out in the field with two hens. We put the dome on, and we just came right around the corner and got in his bubble, and. The first shot of the beatdown was true, and we got us a hammer bird off to a good start. We got a bunch of daylight and tags in our pockets. We need more nice toms, but I got me one. We're gonna keep going. strutters out on properties that we don't have permission on so that's a good sign the birds are out in the field let's get her done Found one on a piece. 
that. We haven't shot a bird off this piece in probably two or three years. Haven't seen a whole lot around on this block. There's a Tom in the backfield. I don't know if he's by himself or with other birds, but he's in a good spot to make a play, so we're gonna give her hell. and show him the fan, see what he does. Finally made it happen. It's going on about 3.30. Um, we've kind of had a slow start today, but JP spotted this bird uh, in this backfield, and we were able to come in. We actually tried doing a setup here in the corner on him, and uh, he was with a hen about 150 yards out, and he could never see our decoys from where we were set up, so he just wasn't leaving that hen. So we decided to come out with a dominator, and we got to about, I'm gonna say 80 yards, and that's where I left JP to film. And I continued on with the dome, and uh, once I got to about 40, 45 yards from him, he finally flipped that switch and uh, committed to coming at me. So I uh, took the shot at 15 yards and, and absolutely stoned him. But uh, first bird for me and JP and Jimbo, uh, Mike and Mark and Bryce got one down. So we are gonna get this guy back on ice and uh, go look for another one. Bring in the luck today, boys. Go get him, huh? Fresh face, new attitude. Yep. Day two. Yeah. Going to the honey hole. Well, today's Sunday, and uh, we had a few encounters earlier. It just wasn't working out very well, so we bounced from that one property over to this other one where my cousin said he's been hearing a bunch of birds gobbling and running around this morning, and then snuck into the cage blind, gave it about 20 minutes, and then he started gobbling and 
came down the hill, hopped over the log, and with that cage blind, we were actually able to maneuver around, and because he was about ready to take off, and I was able to readjust on my shot quick where he wouldn't see me, and I was able to harvest the nice tom. Riding the struggle bus. Yep. We're gonna go get some coffee. Maybe a sandwich. Regroup. I don't know how you don't get a gobble at this spot with how beautiful this woods looks for turkeys. They got no gobbles. The beat goes on. There was a bird here. <laughs> he just got off the field before us. We've been getting our butts kicked all day. We haven't really had a realistic opportunity at a bird. It's been just one of the weirdest days of hunting I've ever experienced up here. Um, we're back in this afternoon where we spent yesterday evening. We were chasing these two toms in here. This one's in a decent spot. You bet. We absolutely worked for this bird today. Uh, we've been getting our butts kicked. I think we heard four gobbles all day off the roost. I'm pretty sure they were Jake gobbles. I don't know how many miles we put on the vehicle today. We tried a handful of spots. We've been watching these birds out in this field where we hunted yesterday evening pretty much all day. They just really haven't been in a spot that we could do much with them. We were planning on coming here again for the afternoon. We rolled in here and We've got eyes on a tom out in this back part of this field with a few hens, and we uh, came to the north end of this field, and it just so happened he came strutting right down the edge of it right when we got there and met him at the same time. And uh, the three hens that were with him let him right in our lap. I wouldn't say right in our lap, but he was a little bit of a poke, but uh, he decided to kind of stick a little bit further out on the field, but the, the 12 gauge was still in barking distance of him, and we got a bird down, uh, number four on the beat down and uh, hopefully we can knock another one down before the day's over. We're gonna see if uh, JP can roll one here in 20 minutes. <laughs> so what do you gotta say, JP, cause you're up next. I'm ready. <laughs> I know you are. Calm, you're relaxed, you'll be able to shoot straight. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? He's like, I got nothing. <laughs> Couple blinds Enough on the roof of my car. Go we'll get us some nice toms. <laughs> get us some nice toms. <laughs> it's got to a spot Jimbo has got lined up. He's killed birds here in the past. Got a couple of jakes and some hens out on the field it looks like. But we're gonna slip down this line. He's killed a lot of birds back in this back corner, so we're gonna go give it like 20, 30 minutes in this back corner and see see what happens. We can't doubt Jimbo. Jimbo's been on the on the money, so we're gonna roll in here and see what happens. He's coming.
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Jimbo? <laughs> oh. Jimbo, you the man, buddy. You are the man. Well, this was a, a hunt for the books. We, uh, Jimbo killed one about 10.30 this morning. It's going on about almost six o'clock right now. We had a rain delay for about three, four hours. So it kind of kept us inside and uh, we came back outside and Jimbo said, hey, we got to go check this spot that I haven't been to in a little while. So we came here and, and uh, there were birds on the field actually. And we kind of bumped them off. There's no toms out here. So we just kind of set up. Jim says, hey, I've killed like eight or nine birds here. And we don't doubt Jimbo. He's the best Jimbo they got. And uh, we set up and we weren't here 25, 30 minutes. And uh, Brennan let out a couple calls. Sure enough, this guy hammers. He's only probably within 100 yards. It's real windy today. Wouldn't you know it, he stepped out on the field mid interview which was pretty awesome. Jim cut me off in the interview, says, hey man, he's on the field. And it didn't take him more than probably a minute. And he was full sprint right into the decoys and just put on an absolute show and, and uh, couldn't be happier. It's been a beat down for the books, just running around Jimbo and Brennan's been, been fun. Uh, definitely a lot of laughs, a lot of fun and uh, to the beat. And uh, I'm tagged out. Here we go. <laughs> Got it. For real? Full Spinoza cigar, I guess. Mark. Thank you. Okay. Happy Pete. Still celebrating Mark's birthday three days later. Uh, just wrapping up for the beat down here, getting uh, some photos and uh, calling it a successful season. What a lot, of, a lot of fun, a lot of good memories, and it was an awesome weekend. It is time to pass down the Breaking Spring Flatland Championship Trophy, uh, 2021. Jim and me split it last year with 22 pounds, 11 ounces. And uh, Dan mopped us up this year with, well, you get 25 pounds, five ounces? Yep, 25 pounds. So he, uh, he was by far the, the heaviest in weight this spring. So we're gonna hand the trophy off to him. Hand the beer off to him. Shotgun. Oh, it is cold, this is gonna suck. That's going to be a wrap on the uh, 2022 beatdown. We uh, ended up with five birds. Everybody who had a tag, I believe, got a bird. I was just here to film and collect a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty neat. I'll just leave it at that. Jimbo sets us up on yet another one. Teamwork. Good stuff. <laughs> that looks like trouble. What are you doing? What do you got? Oh, uh, just had some dinner and we're heading out and uh, going back to another parcel and we're gonna see if uh, JP can roll one here in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you got to say, JP? Cause you're up next. <laughs> this is pay-per-view here. <laughs> Ah, the 10 gauge. She purred like a kitten and stung like a bee, as you can see. <laughs> it was a fun hunt. It went well. Yeah. <laughs>